to Starbridge Mob. I'm Jessica and you're watching the Halloween series. This video is going to be covering all of the star lore and astrology of Halloween. So dates, times, and locations are key factors in astrology. And through astrology we can find meaning to any date. It's also not just about the date, time, and location, the key factors we need with astrology, but when we look at the exact position to the degree that the planets and asteroids that we're working with, those will also give us insight when we know the degree they're positioned at. The degree that the planet is in can tell us if the planet has just entered a sign of the zodiac and anywhere else it is on its path through the sign. Certain degrees carry specific meaning. In the case of Halloween, Halloween is known as a cross quarter day. There are four in the year, just like the four Sabbaths of the ancient Celts. So these each correspond with a cross quarter, or rather fixed astrological sign. These signs are all showing the sun at somewhere between 9 and 15 degrees, connected to a season, positioned between the equinox and a solstice. So the signs are Taurus, which has to do with spring, Leo, which is in summer, Scorpio in fall, and Aquarius in winter. So Samhain, Halloween, falls between the autumn equinox and the, the winter solstice. Um, Halloween happens when the sun is in the fixed sign of Scorpio, and that comes after the autumn equinox. Scorpio is the zodiac sign that's governed by Pluto and associated with the eighth house of astrology. Houses are like areas of life. So the eighth house in astrology represents an area of life that has to do with our inner psyche, life, death, rebirth, the veil, shared resources, secrets, um, sex, power, transmutation, and change. If you want to learn more about Scorpio, there is a free Zodiac series on StarbridgeMom.com. Just scroll down to Scorpio. The next thing that has to do with Halloween and star lore is the Pleiades. The Pleiades is a cluster of stars and it consists of over 800 stars in the constellation of Taurus. It's known as the Seven Sisters. The mythology behind that, these are the daughters of a titan god named Atlas. And in mythology, we learned that there was a war that took place between Atlas and Zeus. And Zeus, being the king of gods, punished Atlas by making him hold all of heaven on his shoulders. His daughters were sad and they missed their dad, Atlas, so Zeus placed them in the sky near their father. A different version of the story says that these seven sisters were virgins and the other god, a hunter god named Horion, was pursuing them. So Zeus turned these sisters into doves and placed them in the sky. In ancient Greece, many temples were built to face the Pleiades as they revered them so much. There are also more legends about the Pleiades that can be found. The Bible mentions that when Jesus returns, he'll be holding the Pleiades in his hand, or rather seven stars in his right hand. Aboriginal tribes, the Hindu, the Japanese, Native Americans, they all have versions of mythological stories about the Pleiades. Beginning on Samhain and through winter, it's really easy to identify this cluster of stars. The ancient Druids festival for Samhain was started each year when the Pleiades reached a certain place in the sky, and this meant that the veil was at its thinnest between heaven and earth. This is where we also get details confused and mixed up about if Samhain really happened annually every October 31st, that it was just like this set date, because it was probably on that day or just before or just after, because it was when they noticed the Pleiades easier to identify it in the sky at night is when they would start their Samhain festival. Orion, so Orion, uh, when I was a kid I didn't know a lot about astrology or the night sky. I did know how to spot the constellation Orion outside my bedroom window though. I'd sit and stare at the giant constellation and sometimes I would just sit there in awe and stillness and other times my imagination would run away with me about cosmic things and galactic adventures. Then the winter season would change into spring, and I didn't notice Orion as much. He wasn't low enough to see from my window. And again, each fall, I would notice Orion again, like a big giant watching over me. 
The constellation Orion is located in the southern part of the night sky in the northern hemisphere from fall through the end of winter. He becomes really easy to see because he sits really low near the horizon during the coldest months. Most identify Orion pretty easily by finding the three stars of his belt. They shine pretty bright. And some believe that these three stars are the pattern for the three pyramids in Egypt. Orion is the hunter god and also the hunter god is associated not only with wild animals but also with the underworld and Orion symbolizes masculine energy and strength. So when we follow the constellation of Orion down towards the bottom we can see another star called Ceres known as the hunter's dog star. So the Celts believe that the hound was an important partner and also a guide to Orion and also to other goddesses of the underworld. So that is the star lore and astrology for Halloween.